Ladies and gentlemen, I was most touched to have been asked to join you all at the start of India Global Week, uh, if only in this digital way. Over this week, thousands of you uh, will be participating in these discussions, entitled Be the Revival, and exploring the business, strategic and cultural opportunities of working with India, as we all look to the future following the unprecedented disruption caused by COVID-19. Some weeks ago, I was delighted to be able to have a conversation with Prime Minister Modi and to discuss the challenges we all face in the light of this pernicious virus, as well as the opportunity we now have fundamentally to change our approach in order to reduce dramatically the immense threat from accelerating global warming, catastrophic climate change, and a disastrous loss of biodiversity. Over the years, uh, I have come to realize that it is not a lack of capital that is holding us back, but rather the way in which we deploy it. Therefore, to move forward, we need nothing short of a paradigm shift, one that inspires action at revolutionary levels and pace. As we rebuild from the current crisis, we have an unparalleled opportunity to put people and planet at the heart of global value creation and to move towards sustainable markets that generate long-term value through the balance of natural, social, human and physical capital. Investments in all four forms of capital can increase living standards and well-being in a sustainable way for everyone, particularly for the poorest people. The past decade has shown us just how quickly industry transformation can happen when you reimagine and re-engineer the business model. We need only look uh, to mobile technology, electric vehicles, e-commerce and online streaming for inspiration. Looking forward, new employment opportunities, entire new industries and markets rooted in genuine sustainability are within our grasp with the potential for unprecedented economic activity built around a circular bioeconomy that places nature and restored biodiversity at its heart. So as we look to rebuild our economic uh, model in a way that is green and equitable, it is vital that we prioritize those things which really matter. India has always understood this, and its philosophy and values have emphasized the sustainable way of life and a harmonious relationship between humanity and nature. For example, the yogic principle of Aparigraha encourages us to keep only that which is necessary at a certain stage of life. We can all perhaps learn from such examples of ancient wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, in my uh, many discussions with the Indian diaspora community in the United Kingdom, I'm always so greatly encouraged by their ambition for India's role in building a sustainable future. One of the most innovative ways in which the diaspora is already involved, and a way that uh, rethinks the deployment of capital, is through the use of social finance. I must say I'm enormously proud of the way that the British Asian Trust, which I set up 13 years ago now, has taken major steps in this field, having already deployed the Quality Education India Development Impact Bond with great success. They are now embarking on another such bond with the National Skills Development Corporation of India to address the skills shortage in critical sectors for COVID-19 recovery development, such as healthcare, retail, telecoms, and logistics. By their very nature, impact bonds promote collaboration, agility, and accountability. This latest bond, like so much that India does, offers a compelling example that I hope others across the Commonwealth will follow. Ladies and gentlemen, having had the great pleasure of visiting India on many occasions, I, I have always been so deeply struck by her extraordinary diversity and the 
deep well of creativity, ingenuity and resilience upon which she draws. This has always been a source of great inspiration to me personally. And now, as we address the current global crisis, I'm more convinced than ever that it has much to teach us all. So as you undertake these vital discussions over the coming days, I have every confidence that you will identify practical answers to the questions we all face, and that in so doing, you can help to move us onto a more sustainable trajectory towards a better future.